As the snowy conditions moved into March, the roads remained plowed, but Omaha's bus stops, that's a whole different story. Depending on the part of town you're in, it can be kind of treacherous. I mean, the snow, you know, snows are piled up. Not all the walks are scooped properly. Rick Gobble is regular at this stop in Benson. He says getting to the stop is an adventure in itself. A lot of climbing over snow. <laughs> Find a level area to stand on. But the, the bus stops themselves, it's extraordinarily difficult. It's been years since we faced this type of a problem. Linda Barrett with Omaha Metro says the weather has been a challenge all winter. With the buses still running at a normal pace, Barrett admits the snow's made stopping much trickier. Our drivers are doing everything they can to um, get as close to somewhere where people can board, but we also have really strict safety rules, and you just can't be stopping a bus anywhere along a route. I've noticed that the bus drivers have been having to stop at um, cleared entrances so that people don't, because nobody can get to the benches or to where the signs are. With benches covered at stops around Omaha, you might wonder, why doesn't Omaha Metro take care of their stops? Bus stop signs fall under the same category as mailboxes and information signs, and it's the property owner's responsibility actually to be cleaning out those uh, bus stops. Sidewalks fall under the same conditions. I headed to the closest bus stop to our station to see what the daily commute would be like in the snow. With more than 2,200 bus stops around the city, Omaha Metro is urging people to be good Samaritans and shovel out the stops on the side of the street. I'm grateful for the ones that have already cleared their sidewalks. If you could just clean out the one that's adjacent to your property, we'd have a whole bunch of them cleaned out. And for those commuters, warm weather can't come soon enough. I know that a lot of weather um, forecasters or weather people are saying that we're on an ice cube. I personally believe we're in an iceberg right now. Reporting in Omaha, Phil Bergman, 3 News Now.